This is my Connex Lawnmower 2.0. Reason why I'm saying it's 2.0 is just by the way it looks. It's completely different. Here's the front. Let's flip, let's flip her upside down, shall we? There we go. Now, now I'm instead of using Connex for the back, I'm using sheet metal with some duct tape on the corners, as you can see. Now the blade take this off real quickly is it's a piece of sheet metal that uh, I just use an angle grinder and sharpen the edges like that I was testing it before and uh, kind of nicked it right there from one of the shields same thing on the other side now it's angled like that if I turn it upside down all the way it's like that and I've been having troubles Keep trying to keep this thing balanced, so so my whole idea is just come up with this little thing right here, which just sticks out. So and it works quite well. So I just put this back on. Bring it over here. Alrighty, now I'm going to show you how I put the blade back on. Okay, so first I this is not connected yet. Then I do is I take this. This just kind of like keeps it from wobbling. So I put this like that, kind of turn it a bit. This goes in like that. Then I take this little clip, snap it in, push it up. Then this is when I actually pick up the little that that snowflake piece and I actually connect it. So now. It won't go anywhere. So that's what it looks like from the underneath. And then the, uh, as you can see, I also put shielding around it like that. It's like the real deal. I have a little duct tape holding that in. And I have a little side piece right there. I'll just flip it back over. Now, in case if I want to closed to shoot. I have these two little pieces. I just one goes like that and the other one goes uh, like that. So it's fairly closed but not all the way but it works, you know. And I just kind of like keep them right here. So if I'm not using I'll just keep them right there. Now the joint from the motor to the connects is is this time being held by uh, the Red Green Show secret weapon. Duct tape. Right there. So I'm gonna fire this baby up in the test culprits for just for today. It is a couple sheets of weak toilet paper. Alright, so let's just Move your back, probably like rip this into a couple pieces. There you go, like so. Get that out of the way. Put, move the power cord around like so. And the motor is a, it's just a typical box fan. And I have it set on one due to balancing issues. And it only spins at around 1700 RPM. So, here we go. Put a piece from the back and hopefully it'll go all the way around and not to shoot. Here we go. As you can see, it shreds it quite well, a little too well actually. As you can see, it's a lot of it stuck up right. There we go. A lot of it stuck up right there. Uh, yeah, looks like it works quite well. So you'll be seeing more videos about this thing later. So, but in the meantime, thank you for watching, and see you next time. <coughs>
Oh, yeah.